And this is Ghostbusters Afterlife getting postponed. Is that your next topic? Yeah. So yeah. it just it's just getting pushed out even further. We knew we weren't going to be getting it until 2021. Now it's not until summer of 2021. And I'll be honest with you, if you read between the lines, they're kind of saying uh, summer of 2021 because we're kind of assuming that this whole CV thing will be, you know, taken care of by then. But there's no guarantees on that. I think part of it also is depends on who wins the election in November. Uh, yeah, probably. We'll we'll know more about that in a couple weeks. In a couple weeks, exactly. Ghostbusters Afterlife, though the title, uh, director Jason Reitman, the yep. son of uh, producer Ivan Reitman. I am. F I got to be honest with you. I'm pretty fired up about this. Nanette and I have been getting our Ghostbuster costumes together so that we can go to the actual cinema to watch this darn movie when they release it. I am more cynical. Uh, really? Well, for starters, this is Sony. I don't like Sony pictures. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I'll at least say this for Disney. They at least spend money on things. Uh, yeah. I, I And I keep thinking that oh, the whole thing with it being in the country and all this is because they didn't want to spend the money to shoot in New York City. But maybe Absolutely. that... Absolutely. I actually don't see that as a downside. I actually see that as a plus. It goes back to what I've been saying for the past couple of weeks, Aged Boomer, that Hollywood needs to focus on the story and not on the spectacle. Find ways to cut cost and make up the difference in the storytelling. And I, everything I've been seeing so far has been kind of positive in terms of the storytelling um let's face it the fact that they've decided to make such a blatant course correction from the answer the call you know ghost girls you know <laughs> is 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 a positive in my mind that in and of itself deserves uh some some accolades and applause the fact that this is an actual sequel and not a reboot well let me rephrase that. It is a reboot, but it's the kind of reboot where it's where it's a direct sequel and not a retcon. It takes you place know? in the universe of the original movie. Exactly. Okay. That I can appreciate. Plus, it also I, I think because uh because it's it's Reitman's son, because it's very personal to him, I also see him being very um sympathetic to um um uh what's his name the the actor that played egon harold um, ramus the fact that harold ramus died he's being very honorable about that and and focusing on the the family of that character um i think is a very personal thing for him it's like yeah my father died this actor died you know and he's kind of playing it out through that i think that's going to end up being a net positive for the story Okay, so maybe the director will make all the difference with this movie. Maybe. So I, I'm not. That's not a hill I'm right, prepared to 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 stake my reputation on. But right now, I feel very positively about it. Yeah. Okay. Enough so that, like I said, I'm 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 using it as an excuse to to get my proton pack, and I and we bought a couple of the Neutrona ones from Hasbro, and you know. Cool. Yeah, we're all set for that. Uh, we'll need to see pictures of those other if you put them on. Yep. The only reason that pictures don't exist yet is because probably the, the the simplest but most core part of it is the the jumpsuits, and we haven't gotten our jumpsuits yet. So, I I just feel like uh, to make a Charlie Brown reference, uh, I I feel like Lucy with the football, and I'm Charlie Brown, and I'm gonna kick it each time, and God, I fall I my understand, butt. Yeah. and it feels like every one of these, and I don't something about this is I don't know what it is, but it's reminding me of the first J.J. Abrams Star Trek movie. Remember when it first yeah. came out and people were gen generally positive? Yeah. It wasn't perfect, but then as time goes by, maybe we're not so excited about it. Maybe it's because yeah. the subsequent movies were far worse. Yeah. And plus, there were a lot of problems even with the original movie when you look back on it. And I don't know. Like I say, maybe I'm being, maybe I'm being too cynical here. But Well, 
there's it, it's not like your cynicism exists in a vacuum it's it's predicated on having been disappointed so many times before i certainly understand that um at the risk of sounding you know all sunny and light like uh like our like our cohort in crime I, it does require a wait and see you know we don't know until we know okay but do you think it'll get postponed again or will they ask me that ask me that after the election maybe they'll move it up too that could happen too right i mean we haven't heard of that happening yet have we it seems unlikely okay. it seems unlikely because if they've put it off that far that tells me that there's still work i don't know if that's it's done and it's in the can and they're just deciding when to release it or if there is stuff that still needs to be done that they can't do because of the restrictions and until the restrictions are lifted they can't even started that's a the answer to that question is what really determines whether or not they can go nope we've got it in the can things have changed we can put it out in march uh or nope we still have editing to do it can't happen before summer gotcha you know? okay so we'll wait and see but uh june 11th 2021 it feels like i'll be watching uh, this year's movie, next year or beyond. So, in fairness, this has given me the, the the time that I needed to get my whole costume together. So, I I can at least uh, I can I can say that it it's a net plus for me personally. Oh, and Arcade Burns has a suggestion for you. He mm -hmm. says if you're going to get official Ghostbusters props and costumes, I recommend visiting Spirit Halloween on November mm -hmm. 1st. Everything is half off. That's good to know. Oh. I wish I'd known, man. See, the situation was, was it last year or the year before when they first released all of that stuff at Spirit Halloween? It sold out so quickly that as soon as the following year came and they restocked, Netter and I just went and bought them full price just so that we had them. Gotcha. If they're getting marked down now, our loss, because we already have literally everything. We even got the stupid little badges that, are non-canon but looked really cool <laughs> you know so cool i i there is a there is a chicago branch of the ghostbusters that we've been loose well not loosely affiliated with but i followed them on facebook um but i've had a really hard they, they, i they have been unresponsive we may end up just starting our own ghostbusters you know branch here here in the, the chicago suburbs yeah well um so this is the new, it's the Chicago branch versus the New York branch, right? It's uh, no, you should call it the franchise. Actually, every just about every major city in the U.S. has their own Ghostbusters branch, and they've got their own badge, and 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 so forth. You should call them franchises, though, because wasn't the idea that they were going to franchise it? Franchises available. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and that's how a lot of them are thinking of it. They're cool. they're kind of operating within the 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 uh, canon or whatever you would of the what was the what was the um the second cartoon the um extreme ghostbusters or something yes, like that yes yeah they they got into the whole franchising thing and they they take a lot from the role playing game and stuff too um i i actually think that would be a great video to do sometime just talking about ghostbusters and how their expanded universe or whatever has been a huge success where a lot of others have failed yeah, definitely. I remember I actually just started watching Extreme Ghostbusters because it's on Hulu, and I'm mm -hmm. liking it a lot. It reminds me of the original uh, Ghostbusters cartoon a lot. Yeah, it's like a, it's like the next generation. And though. talk about you know the representation where it works. You know, the kid in the wheelchair, and you know people of different ethnicities, and it's like that's cool. No problem with any of that. You know. Yeah, no problem at all. Um, but. Uh, Back to the drawing board makes an interesting comment that uh, they won't push up the date because of merchandising, and that's a big. There's going to be a big merchandising push, and yeah, I keep forgetting that that. Uh... That's a brilliant point. Back to the drawing board, and in and of itself, enough reason for me to be totally okay with it. Um, a lot of these, um, a lot of the positive spin people try to put on these things being pushed out, like like Dune, for example. Well, it's important that this does well because if it doesn't do well, we won't get a sequel. And so we want this released in theaters and blah, 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 blah. That's true with Ghostbusters, but it's not just that we won't get a sequel. It's 
we wanted to do well in the marketing. We want, we want all the toys. We want all the stuff. So, oh my gosh, ghost, but I'll tell you what Hasbro and all the other companies are making tons of money off of licensing on this for a movie that hasn't even come out yet. They're, they're just making money hand over fist. This in a way is a success story for ghostbusters. So I, you, you, they can't keep putting it off forever, but the, 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 the postponements have actually been a good thing so far. Okay. Maybe it's increasing hype. I didn't think about that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh,